Hey guys, welcome back to another episode. So today I'll be introducing a tool for you that I thought is a wonderful add-on in terms of understanding more about the wireless information and statistics across the vicinity they're in. So first thing first, on the most bottom right corner, so if you look over here under the Wi-Fi icon, so what we see here is we can look at the number of wireless in the environment, we can look at the existing Wi-Fi network that you're connected into. And of course, in our case, we have Loy Network underscore 5G. So the next thing I want to share with you is that the challenge is, of course, is a little more challenging trying to understand what's going on. So we have to click properties. And if it is some other networks, you pretty much are, you pretty much stop here in terms of gathering more information. So there is this app that I actually found uh, when I was using Microsoft Store. So when I go to Microsoft Store, all you got to do is click on a search and you can enter Wi-Fi and hit enter on that. And on the most left corner, I actually have the Wi-Fi analyzer. So go in and click on this. So this is a free application that you can easily download as part of your Windows 10 Arsenal. And uh, once you have loaded into the page or the product or the software page, you'll be brought into more information about this particular app. All right, so let us go ahead and try to get this app running. So here we have Wi-Fi Analyzer. So it can help us identify Wi-Fi problems. So I was trying to troubleshoot my home computer, especially in terms of the wireless connection, because I installed a new wireless router and I was trying to troubleshoot and make sure that it is working properly and I needed more information. Okay, so go ahead and download this uh, software if you want to. So once you have the software installed, all you got to do is actually go into Wi-Fi analyzer. So I can go ahead and hit enter on that. So once I go into the software over here, so the great thing is that it gives us a lot more details than the one that we saw on the bottom right corner. All right. So over here, we have the information on the D capital BMM. So this demonstrates how powerful is your wireless signal strength and how well you're connected to the wireless. Okay. And we have the frequency all right, so uh, it's a little small here, so I'm just going to open up the magnifier so it's easier for you to see. All right, so we have like the DBM, we have the SSID name, we have the channel, which is also very important, and we have frequency, all right, the frequency that your wireless adapter is operating on and how it's connected to the wireless network. All right, we have the bandwidth, we have the protocol. All right, so protocol is also another important point. Is it a G, B, N, A, X, and so on, okay? And the protocol matters because it also determines how well you connect it to the wireless network. All right. So, and of course, you have your SSID, right? So, we'll be doing some tutorials about changing MAC addresses. Okay. So, do stay tuned for that as well. And then we have the IP address. In our case, our private IP address is 192.168.0.177. And we have a subnet of 255.255.255.0, and so on and so forth. Okay, and they even give you a public IPv4 IP address. So this is the IP address that you actually use to connect into the internet. All right, so again, it's giving you a lot more details. And if you scroll down further, all right, it also tell you the authentication type, what kind of encryption technology is it running on. So a lot of very useful information and your uptime and beacon interval. All right, and you can have the analyze button over here. So the analyze tab actually help us look out for how well you're connected into the information. You have the networks. So earlier when we were at the bottom right corner, so I can still click on it over here. We can we just see some simple information like the wireless name and the wireless strength. And it doesn't really specify what kind of wireless strength are we connected to. All right. So in our case, now when I look into the environment, I can look, oh, okay. So it is a two bar on the wireless network. And this is, of course, uh, negative 79 dBm. All right. So negative 80 dBm, negative 88, and so on and so forth. And this is out of range, out of range again. Okay. So I thought this is a wonderful software to share with you, especially if you're trying to troubleshoot your own home wireless network, trying to get a better signal strength, or even trying to look at what's happening around the vicinity, which is, uh, in a way, has been shared by a lot of the videos that we have done on wireless hacking, all right, as part of the channel. All right, so once again, I hope you learned something valuable in today's tutorial. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below, and I'll try my best to answer any of your queries. And remember, like, share, and subscribe to the channel so that you can be kept abreast of the latest cybersecurity tutorial. Thank you so much once again for watching.